Hey there, it's Mandy Noel um, coming at you from Southern Oregon, the watershed of Ashland, Oregon. And I'm a Master of Arts and Teaching student at Southern Oregon University, getting my elementary teaching license. And I have a background in environmental education. So I just wanted to share this story with you. It's called Douglas the Mouse. And this is a Douglas fir tree, just so you know. So these are the needles on it. And here's its cones. And we're gonna take a closer look at these cones in a little while. So Douglas the mouse was crawling around on the forest floor and he was sniffing the ground. He was searching for something to eat. And as he was sniffing the air, he, he um, sniffed Mm. Uh, is that smoke? So Douglas thought to himself, where is that coming from? And then all of a sudden his friend, the deer, came running by. And he said, Douglas, get out of here. There's a forest fire coming. So Douglas got his little feet going as fast as they could carry him, trying to keep up with the deer. But after a while, whew, Douglas got tired. Those deer's legs were a lot longer than his, and he couldn't keep up. He had to stop and take a rest. And while he was resting there, uh, a snake came slithering by. It was a gopher snake. And it said, Douglas, come with me down to my hole. I'll keep you safe. Douglas thought, hmm, I think I'd rather get burnt to a crisp in a forest fire than gobbled up by a snake. So Douglas got his little legs going as fast as he could again, got out of there. And as he's running along, a raven swoops down and says, Douglas, uh, get on my back. I'll fly you out of here. And so Douglas thought, hmm, well, that seems like a pretty good idea. And he caught up on the raven's back and the raven took off. And uh, the raven went high up into the sky fast. And Douglas held on for dear life, but he couldn't keep his grip. He didn't quite have a good grip on the feathers and boo, Douglas came tumbling down back to the ground. And as he's laying there in agony, not knowing what to do, and he stares up into this tall tree. And I don't have a Douglas fir behind me. That would have been smart. But his branches look like this. Stared up into the tall tree and thought, maybe if I climb to the tippy top of the branches, I'll be safe from that fire. And so Douglas started climbing, 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 all the way to the tippy top of the branches of the Douglas fir tree. And the fire started getting closer and closer and hotter and hotter and started to swirl up the tree onto the branches. And Douglas didn't know what to do. So at the very last moment, he jumped inside of the cone onto the Douglas fir tree and got, and was, got away from the fire. But now, ever since this day, Douglas is still stuck inside of the cone. Now, if you look closely, you can see his little back feet sticking out. See that? And his tail. There's a bunch of them. Oh yeah, he got he gathered all of his little mice friends. I forgot that part of the story. So when Douglas was laying there in agony, all of his little mice friends came up and said, Douglas! And that they all climbed to the top of the Douglas fir tree and they all jumped inside of the cone at the very last minute. So it's not just Douglas, it's all of his brother and sister mice. They're all hiding in there. The end. <laughs>